Hello everybody. Today I am walking around during my lunch break, as I usually do, around the streets of Chicago. And I'm right across this hospital. I think it's called something something Methodist. Yeah, Methodist Hospital of Chicago. Not a very big hospital by any stretch of the imagination. But I'm walking around and I'm at the employee parking lot right now. And I remembered an old commercial where it said that doctors drive Buicks. Something like that where... You know, you don't want to be too too rich looking and drive a Cadillac, so you're going to go with a Buick. So I saw this lacrosse, which looks to me like it's a pretty basic, like it's a pretty basic car. But at the same time, I remember, you know, doctors drive Buicks. So let me take a look. Okay, what kind of cars doctors drive? Now, granted, I, I'm at a parking lot, so it could be a nurse, it could be... A uh, nurse aide or assistant or any kind of technical person. It doesn't have to be a, a rich surgeon. But at the same time, it would be nice to see what kind of cars do medical medical people drive. And my own wife is a nurse, so I know she drives a Forester. So I'm going to try to kind of avoid uh, some people who are walking around. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do a quick scan through. So here's an Audi Q3. Here is a Volvo. Both are looking pretty nice i don't know what kind of volvo it is i'm not gonna like deep research this here's a kia whoops there you go here is a range rover okay oh here's one mercedes e550 quite quite high up there on the totem pole uh what else uh what is this mitsubishi what kind of mitsubishi is this Oh, it's an Outlander. You see, shame on me. I don't Outlander sport. I don't even know my Mitsubishi's anymore. I remember like the Gallant, uh, the Mirage. Anyway, uh, Camry, Corolla. Uh, all right, let's see. Do I find anything interesting here? Oh, here you go. Here's another one. Here is a Buick Lucerne. So doctors do really drive Buicks. So you see, so that's two Buicks. And look at this Buick. It's a CXL, but look, it's got some sort of a weird aftermarket. I don't know. I don't know if it's some sort of a trim package that, it, that these things had or some sort of a, if this is aftermarket. So first of all, the skirt, the skirt on the bottom. First of all, somebody stuck a porthole on the quarter panel. So that's weird. And then somebody stuck another porthole right here. So these are the factory portholes. That's what somebody stuck on them. All right weird look at this so i don't know if it's a doctor or not but they sure love their portholes okay yeah i want to know like is this aftermarket or is this some sort of a an accessory probably an aftermarket and it's a base it's a base lucerne it's got leather but it's so it's cxl so it's probably not the base but it's one above that but still i don't think i've ever seen a porthole <laughs> on the quarter panel all right i'm gonna come down so here is a Lincoln MKX, also I think known as the Ford Edge. Um, yeah, this one has seen better days. It's got weird things happening right here. Somebody put their name on it, but it got the little wood grippy handles. I think this was the time when they were trying to move away from the wood, which I don't know why. But then they also have these wheel covers, which setter caps. But at least it doesn't have the wing look. It has like the egg crate, egg carton type of look. Eh, okay. Got some Audi, Mercedes. What is this? A C class. Yep. Oh, here's another Mercedes. So, as you can kind of see, what I'm trying to get at is, uh, you know, medical profession has always been kind of known for its, you know, luxury life. You know, you go to school for freaking 15 years, so you expect to make some dough. So, you can kind of see, you know, somebody parked the CLS 550 kind of away from everybody else so maybe that's the big cheese uh, other stuff like these Camrys this was a Patriot is this a Patriot I don't know it says latitude but yeah it's a Patriot stuff like these Ultimas and stuff yeah that's your that's your grunts let's let's take a look at that Lincoln too I think it's a Lincoln yep all right, it's a Nautilus. Yes, another crossover. I do like this look a lot better than that look. 
So they did progress quite a bit. Sorry, the wind is picking up. Uh, yeah, the Nautilus, how they kind of put their names on here. The interiors are way better now. Uh, although they, they don't like the wood look for some unknown to me reason. So, you know, this is kind of like the, the middle of the row person. Maybe they're the technician. Yep, there's that Lucerne again. So here is a car you don't see quite often. So there was actually a person sitting there. So I kind of want to weave now. So there was also a Hummer H2 parked there and some Lexus RX, but then there was another person who was actually parking out and was trying to give me a dirty look. And I didn't realize that I was actually filming somebody was sitting right in the next car. So here's a Denali. So yeah, when I, when I encounter folks like this, I try to just leave because the next question is, what are you filming? Why are you filming it? Who are you? this and that so i'd rather just leave all right and there's a nice ford f-150 right there and there's a tree so anyway this was, so now you guys know that doctors do drive buicks as the old saying goes but also i saw a couple couple uh lincoln's there didn't really see any cadillacs you know i should probably do another video about all the mini coopers that are parked in the streets of chicago there are tons of them um, I did the thing for a Fiat 500, and uh, <laughs> that thing has like 50 some views. So I don't want to, I don't want to bore you to death. I think I filmed this car too. I think I did. So, all right. If you want to see a Mini Cooper video, let me know. And on this note, we'll see you next time.